A woman named Simin intends to divorce her husband because he refuses to move to another country due to his seriously ill father. Nader agrees to the divorce because he doesn't want a wife who doesn't support him and is willing to leave at any moment. However, Nader refuses to let Simin take their 11-year-old daughter abroad. This is the source of the conflict between the spouses. The court deems Simin's reasons insufficient to grant her request. The visa deadline is approaching in 40 days, but without the father's signature, the daughter cannot leave the country. Nader, as a father, refuses to give his consent because he wants to be part of the daughter's life. In the end Simin was forced to leave with nothing. The court was not on her side. At home, there is a tense atmosphere. While Simin packs her things, preparing to move soon, Nader takes care of his father, who suffers from Alzheimer's disease. A caregiver will assist him. The couple's daughter, Terme, knows her mother will leave soon. Nader reassures the daughter, saying that her mother will definitely come back. For Nader, taking care of his father is a sacred duty, so he cannot make concessions to his wife. Terme watched as the mother left with her belongings. Simin didn't even hug the daughter, and soon the door closed behind her. Simin decided to temporarily live with her parents, and the fact that the daughter stayed with Nader wouldn't stop her. Simin is confident that everything will work out gradually. Razi, the caregiver, along with her little daughter, came to the family's home and began her duties. From now on, there is no mistress in this house, which is why Nader needed help. Nader's father can no longer comprehend much and hardly recognizes anyone. The caregiver often calls Simin because she doesn't know how to cope. Obviously, Simin doesn't want to deal with it. Nader's father can't even do basic things. He thinks the caregiver is Simin. Razi is afraid that if she helps the patient bathe, it will be considered a sin. In the end she called the agency to make sure it doesn't contradict the religion. Nader is teaching his daughter independence. It's challenging for the girl to grow up without her mother, but together the father and daughter will manage. At home, Razi said that this job is beyond her capabilities, so she intends to resign. Of course Nader is upset because he won't be able to find a new caregiver by tomorrow. Nader is contemplating what to do now. Tomorrow he needs to go to work, but he can't leave his father alone. Razi, having received payment for one day, was about to leave but returned at the last moment. The woman suggested to Nader that her husband work instead of her, but on the condition that he doesn't find out she worked here. Nader would be fine with that. The next day, Hajat met with Nader and agreed on the terms of employment. Starting from the following day, Hajat will assume his duties. However the next day instead of him, Razi showed up again. It turns out that creditors came to them yesterday, and Hajat was arrested. That's why pregnant Razi came to substitute for him. She fears her husband will lose this job too. Nader was not very pleased, but there was no alternative for now. Razi found it very difficult to cope with her duties. At some point, her daughter noticed that the elderly man was missing. Razi rushed outside to look for him. The man was wandering along the roadway, not understanding what was happening and where he was. In the evening, Nader and the others were having a good time, while Razi tried to recover in the bathroom. She almost lost consciousness in the bus. Since Hajat had not been released from custody yet, Razi had to go to work instead of him again. She felt dizzy and sick all the time. In the evening, Nader and Terme couldn't enter the house because the door was locked. A neighbor said that in the morning, Razi was cleaning the stairs because she dropped a bag of garbage. Taking spare keys from the car, Nader opened the door. Seeing the grandfather on the floor, Terme was horrified. Nader in desperation tried to bring the father to his senses. Terme was very frightened, but she helped her father with everything. Fortunately the man was alive. Nader doesn't understand how Razi could abandon his father. Moreover, money was missing from the house. Soon Razi returned with her daughter. Razi justified herself by saying that she went to attend to some matters because the patient was asleep. However, Nader was not willing to tolerate such negligence of duties, especially theft. Razi denied stealing the money. To prove the truth of her words, she emptied her bag. However, Nader did not believe the woman and sent her away. He had no intention of reporting it to the police because he already had enough concerns. Nader and Terme were left alone with this difficult situation. Suddenly the doorbell rang. It was Razi, who couldn't leave until Nader took back his words. But Nader was not willing to listen and pushed Razi, closing the door. Now Nader has to take care of his father himself. One day he met with his ex-wife. Simin wants to know about the conflict with the caregiver, who as it turned out ended up in the hospital. Hearing this, Nader was shocked. He didn't want it to come to this at all. 
the ex-spouses went to the hospital together to visit Razi. They learned that Razi had lost the baby. Simin blames her ex-husband for everything. Hajat did not expect to see Simin and Nader here because he didn't know his wife worked for them. Nader had to tell the truth. Hajat started behaving aggressively, outraged that his wife had been visiting the home of a divorced man. As a result of the scuffle, Simin also got hurt. Nader suggested his ex-wife stay with him so that her parents wouldn't see her in such a state. But Simin refused. The investigator questioned Nader, as well as Hajat and his wife. Nader was charged. He explained that he didn't know about Razia's pregnancy and just wanted to chase her away. If Nader's guilt is proven, he could face up to three years in prison. Razi is also offended that Nader accused her of theft. Nader in turn explained that Razi abandoned his sick father and left somewhere, which could have had dire consequences for the elderly man. It's a very serious accusation. Nader intends to file a counterclaim. However if Nader doesn't post bail, he will be arrested until the trial. Nader pleaded with the investigator not to do this because he has no one to leave his incapacitated father with. But the investigator couldn't help because that's the law. Upon learning of this, Simin returned. Terme blames her mother for what happened. If she hadn't left, her father wouldn't be in jail. Simin plans to leave with her father-in-law and daughter back to her parents. However, Terme refused. So Simin, taking the father-in-law, went alone. It seems like life is falling apart. Meanwhile, Terme and her grandmother came to visit Nader. Simin's mother plans to mortgage the apartment to post bail. Despite disagreements with the ex-husband, Simin also participates in this. The investigator questioned Miss Garayi, Termea's teacher who gave lessons at home. Miss Garayi assured that Nader is an honest person and is not capable of intentionally harming anyone. Garayi had suspicions that Hajat was to blame for everything. Perhaps he got angry that his wife was working in secret from him and had hurt her in a fit of emotion. Meanwhile, Hajat was indignant that negligence charges were brought against Razi. Hajat is unemployed, which is why his wife had to go to work. Nevertheless, Hajat continued to assert his rights. The investigator called security because Hajat started behaving aggressively. Hajat shouted that he could endure anything except humiliation. Razi begged the investigator not to arrest her husband for three days. According to her, since Hajat lost his job, he stopped controlling himself. Despite everything, Nader stood up for Razi. As a result, Hajat was released. Nader was also released on bail. While they were driving, Terme asked her father if he really didn't know about Razia's pregnancy. He said no, but her mother claimed otherwise, because Nader had not been surprised at all when they were at the hospital. Nader told his daughter that the mother is trying to turn her against him. After that, he picked up his father from the wife's relatives, and they all went home. Nader talked to the neighbor because she would be questioned tomorrow. Nader wants her to be careful with her statements. Terme found this strange. The father asked her to go with him to the staircase. He is sure that Razi could not have fallen down the stairs from the door because the distance is too great. It is physically impossible. The next day, an investigative experiment was conducted here. Razi could hardly answer the police officer's questions, who suggested that the woman may have felt dizzy that day, which could have caused the fall. Razi denied this, but the neighbor contradicted her testimony, saying that Razi dropped a bag of garbage due to weakness on that day. At the court's request, a doctor examined Nader's father to assess the consequences of Razia's negligence. Hajat unceremoniously barged into the school to talk to Garayi. He is convinced that the teacher lied about Nader not being aware of Razia's pregnancy. However, Garayi was not going to retract her words. In the end, Hajat had to leave with nothing. Nader wants to find out if Razi really left his father alone that day because she urgently needed to go to the hospital. Simin accuses her husband of being unable to take care of his family. Today in front of everyone, Hajat threatened Terme. Next time something worse could happen. Nader in turn accused his wife of abandoning them. But Simin hasn't changed her mind. If the husband had agreed to move abroad, none of this would have happened. Now Simin is trying again to persuade Nader to let their daughter move to another country with her. Nader gave the daughter a choice. Despite everything, Terme preferred to stay here rather than go with her mother. When the father helped her with the homework, Terme told him that she knew about his lie. In fact, Nader overheard the conversation between Garayi and Razi, so he was aware of her pregnancy. Nader confessed to his daughter that he did know. But at the moment when Nader pushed Razi, he was not in control of himself. Now he is forced to deny everything because apart from him, there will be no one to take care of his daughter and father.
learning that Hajat's threats to Terme have not stopped, Nader wanted to talk to Miss Garayai, but out of fear, she refused to talk. Nader had nothing left but to turn to the investigator, but without witnesses, he can't do anything. It was an unpleasant surprise for Nader that Garayai changed her testimony and stated that Nader was aware of everything. The investigator wants to talk to Terme to make sure of everything. Terme defended the father, although it was very difficult for her. Later she cried, feeling partially responsible for what was happening. Simin decided to personally talk to Hajat, hoping to come to an agreement. Simin is even willing to pay to settle the matter. She is doing this not for the sake of her husband but solely for the safety of her daughter. Later, Simin came to Nader to discuss this. If they pay the family, they will withdraw the statement, and their lives will continue. Nader said he was not going to pay the blackmailer. He believes that his ex-wife had no right to interfere in this matter. Besides, Terme still wants to live with her father. However, Simin knows the daughter's motivation well. Terme still hopes that this way her mother will return to her father. Also, Terme knows that the mother won't move anywhere without her. Nader has not changed his decision. This became the last straw for Simin. Despite the daughter's protests, she intends to take her away from here. Nader did not oppose this, understanding that it would be better for Terme. Before his daughter left, Nader said that if she also considers him guilty, he will give the money to Hajat. Meeting with Simin, Razi confessed that she felt pain even before Nader pushed her. It happened when she was looking for Nader's father on the street. Of course Razi did not tell her husband about this, who now wants only one thing, to get the money and settle with creditors. Simin realized that Nader is actually not guilty of anything. Razi does not want to take such a sin on his soul, so she asks Simin not to pay Hajat. Simin doesn't know what to do because if Hajat doesn't get the money, he won't leave her family alone. The two families met to discuss everything. Nader stated that he agrees to comply with all conditions if Razi swears on the Quran that she is telling the truth. At that moment, Razi became nervous. She had to tell her husband what really happened. However, it did not make Hajat change his mind. If they don't settle with creditors today, their life will become even more unbearable. Razi still refused to do it, which infuriated her husband. Everyone else heard their conflict. Hajat had to leave with nothing. Terme and her parents were returning home in silence. Soon there was a court hearing, and Terme has to decide with whom she wants to stay, with her mother or with her father. In tears, Terme said that she would voice her decision only after her parents come out. That's where the movie ends.